there is a new villain in town, stress. Everything that happens in our life is attributed to stress. Backache, stress. Fever, stress. Skin rashes, stress. Dog barking too much at night, stress. It is a new go-to word for everyone. When you type in stress into Google, it throws up 700 million responses in less than 6 seconds. That is how big an issue it is in our lives. So today, let us look at how to outsmart this villain. Hi, I am Sheila and this is Lumiere. Light on! I used to look at stress as a natural byproduct of my lifestyle until I realized what that sucker does in my body. Do you know stress changes the physiology and the biochemistry of the body? When you feel stressed, your sophisticated rational brain goes out of the window and your caveman brain takes over. Now this fella knows only two things, fight or flight. And that was the response that you needed when you were a caveman and was faced with a tiger. Either you eat the tiger or the tiger eats you. The brain shifts all of its resources to fight off this life threat. Adrenaline and cortisol, you know those two stress hormones, right? They pour into the body. What these do is they increase your heartbeat, they increase your respiration rate, they increase the sugar level in your body and it increases the blood flow to your arms and your legs, the better to run away with. What this also means is that all activities that the brain thinks are unnecessary like your sleep, your digestion, your sexual drive, your creative resources, everything is shut down. Much like a ship preparing for battle, all hatches shut down. After all, you don't need to poop, sleep or have sex while you are running away, right? And the regular pouring of the stress hormones in your body cause the fat to pile up. Again, caveman, remember you don't know where your next meal is going to come from when you are fleeing, right? So you need this fat and out comes the tire at your belly. This is a picture of my cousin. He is a prime example of how the body goes into apple shape with stress. He's allowed me to use his picture for his 5 minutes of fame. Now you might say that we no longer face tigers these days. But today our tigers are the assignments that we have to submit, the new project work that we have to give, facing a tough player on the sports field or performing in front of the camera. These are the stresses. And sometimes we have borrowed stress, stress that is not ours at all. Our spouse is stressed, we decide to be stressed too. Your neighbor is stressed because her daughter is not performing well in exams? Well, let me give her company and be stressed too. Normally, when the stressful situation passes away, our body returns to normal. But when we face one stressful situation after another, the body has no time to recoup. We walk around with our blood sugar completely high, with the blood pressure high and with scrunched up shoulders, putting our health, hair and body shape at risk. And the funny thing is, most of the times we are on autopilot and we don't realize that all our tigers do not require the same level of stress. So today I would like to share with you a special tool from my toolbox. My toolbox has a tool for every problem. So today's tool is stress diaries. So what is a stress diary? What you have to do is go to your laptop or your mobile and open a special folder. In that folder, write down these four things. One, every time you are stressed, the date and time of the stress. Two, how were you feeling when you handled that stress on a scale of 1 to 10? With 1 being, I am feeling really suicidal or murderous and 10 being Buddha, you have got competition. Third is how did you do well? How effective were you? 
again on a scale of 1 to 10 with 1 being I totally beep beeped here and 10 being water of a duck's back and the fourth and the really most important thing who was the primary cause of the stress another person situation or was it you your procrastination your bad time management skills your whatever please try to be as honest as possible here also make note of any physical symptoms that you may have felt sweaty palms raised heartbeat palpitations headache anger and how do you think you handle this stress did your reaction actually help you solve the problem or did it make it worse most of the times our reaction makes it worse at the end of two weeks look at this and analyze your diary at the end of two weeks when you analyze your diary you will see that not all of your stresses required the same amount of pressure you will also find out how you could have handled this better and how you could have just let go of some of the pressures that you were actually carrying around for so long. You can download the template right here and use it to create your stress diaries. You can read more about this in my blog. Feel free to ask any questions and comment. Watch out for more life hacks in my next videos. To spread the light, like, share and subscribe.